Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In honor of the upcoming Sephora VIB sale, I thought I would share with you guys my Sephora loves list. I think it's been about six months since I previously shared my Sephora loves list, so things, you know, they may be a little bit different since the last time that I shared my Sephora loves list. I will leave any previous Sephora loves list videos linked down below in case you're interested in watching those, but if you guys are interested in seeing what's currently on my Sephora loves list, then stay tuned. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you go. I post videos every single Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Sorry I have like weird shadows behind me poking through. The sun is finally starting to like poke its head through the clouds here in uh, Minnesota. I'm literally getting like the the loading s of death oh here we go okay okay you guys so up first i have the briogeo be well organic plus cold press 100 percent castor oil this is supposed to be really good for dry damaged hair which <laughs> i have incredibly dry and damaged hair from um a bleaching incident quite a few years ago and my hair is still recovering so I'm definitely interested in this. It's $26 and I'm not going to lie, the thing that piqued my interest the most is the fact that it's in a lavender bottle and I was hoping it smelled like lavender but it doesn't appear to be true. Okay you guys, up next I have the Marc Jacobs Beauty Iconic Stiletto Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette and this like wasn't even on my radar but then I was in store and I saw this and I swatched it and it is beautiful. I don't think I'll pick this up even though the packaging is also so gorgeous. Uh, I just don't need this in my collection but it definitely like has my interest peaked. I've seen a couple people use this too on their channel and it looks so beautiful. Hey, Ma. So like, I really Ma. am tempted. Um, okay, up next, I also probably won't pick this up but it's definitely on my loves list because it, it looks beautiful and I've loved everyone's, everyone that's like created looks with this palette, I've loved. It is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Eyeshadow Palette. I really don't need this. I don't even really enjoy the Urban Decay like Naked formula. Um, but like I had to toss it on my loves list in case. So I've been really into gloss lately and I have the Becca Chrissy Teigen Glow Lip Gloss in Beach Bum because this looks like a beautiful nude color. I really, really want this, you guys, but it's $22, which is so expensive. I really don't need it, but I really want it. It is described as a sandy pink color, but I think I saw Jaclyn Hill try this on her channel and it looked more of like a nude nude. Um, nevertheless, I'm very interested in picking this one up. Plus, Beach Bum, like, that's just such a cute name, which is, like, a great reason to buy a product, right? Okay, then I have the Replica Sailing Day Traveling Spray. I really, really want to buy this, um, in just, like, the travel size for my trip to Vegas because scent, so scent is obviously the thing that, like, is closest tied to memories. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that. And I think it was Jessica Bruin who I heard, I think say that she buys like a different fragrance for every trip that she goes on so then when she smells that fragrance it like reminds her of that trip i think it was her it could have been someone else but i thought that was such a cool idea and i really enjoyed the scent of the sailing day it's just like a nice light clean scent um i love replica by the fireplace but that's more of like a wintry scent for me so i really want to get this for my trip to vegas and i think i probably will I also have the YSL Touche Clot High Coverage Radiant Concealer. I feel like this has been around for a while and I've heard lots of good things about it. So, and I'm not gonna lie, like the radiance part is what really spoke to me. So I really do want this. It's $35 though, so mm, we'll see. And then I also have the Saturday Skin Bright Potion Probiotic Power Serum on this. The packaging on this, I'm not gonna lie, is what first drew me in, but it says it's a potent serum enriched with encapsulated probiotics and activated prebiotics, which will help create a powerful solution for luminous and healthy looking skin. That sounds right up my alley. It's for normal dry combo and oily skin. Um, so I would love to pick this up and do, you know, get a review out there for you guys because I really have enjoyed everything I've tried from Saturday Skin. I know I did a review, I think last summer, about a four pack that Saturday Skin used to carry. It was like four travel size products. If they still have that, I'll link that down below and then I'll also link my review video, but I loved every single one of the products that I tried. I also have the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette on my loves list. This isn't something that I think I'll end up purchasing. It's $59 plus I just don't reach for my face palettes, let alone cheek palettes, very often, but it is beautiful looking, the packaging is beautiful, the product looks beautiful. I also have the Sephora Favorites Festival Faves hair pack on here. 
I was thinking it would be fun and actually my video about the Saturday skin review like this is what sparked it I thought it'd be fun to like buy Sephora favorites kits and then review the entire kit for you guys on my channel and do like a giveaway of one of the kits um so let me know if that's something that would interest you guys because if that's the case then I'll pick up a bunch of the Sephora like favorites kits during the sale um, but this is one that really has me intrigued just because I've been trying to get more and more into hair products and I thought this would be a good way to try a bunch of different hair products out. I also have the Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Hollow Mulberry Blue Brown. This is $18 for a single shadow and I don't reach for single shadows that much. However, I swatched this in store and it is so gorgeous that I really, really want this. Okay, so I have a mini of the Lila B A Glow Face Mist Mini just because Jaclyn Hill always raves about this and I'm just interested because I love glowy mists. I don't need this, but uh, I'm definitely interested. Then I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow Primer. I'm not sure if this is the one that Samantha March raves about, but if it is, that's the one that I want on my loves list and that's the one that I'm really interested in purchasing. Now, I don't need any more primers right now, so this is something that will probably stay on my loves list at least until the next Sephora VIB sale. At least I hope I have that much willpower, um, but I'm definitely interested in this because Samantha has just raved about this and said it makes her skin look absolutely beautiful, which... We all want beautiful skin. Then I have the Lancome Starlet Sparkle Dual Finish Highlighting Palette. This is $39. I probably will pick this up during the sale if it's still available. It has the Sparkling Petch Powder, which is something that I'm very, very interested in. And then the other highlights look beautiful as well. So you guys will have to let me know if you've tried any of these Lancome highlighters um, and what your thoughts are, but I'm very interested in this palette. Then from Kopari, Kopari is one of the nine brands in 2019 that I wanted to try. I have tried the lip glossy from them, but I'm interested in picking up their Coconut Your Selfie Kit, which retails for $42, and there are four different products in there, one of them being the lip, crop, lip glossy, but Mama. three other products that I haven't tried from them that I'm definitely interested in trying. It comes with their Coconut Cleansing Oil, their Coconut Rose Toner, as well as their Coconut Face Cream. So all things that I want to try. You guys will have to let me know what you think of Kopari as a brand, but that's definitely something that I am interested in. I also have the Fresh New Day Nude You set. It's $44 and it comes with five little minis of their Sugar Fresh Look Sugar Lip Balms, which are my favorite. It comes with... I think they're all tinted ones and I haven't tried a ton of the tinted ones and regardless I just love the fresh sugar lip balms and I always love to have a lip balm with me and sometimes it's nice to have a tinted lip balm so that you know you can get that tint but still get that hydration so this is definitely something I am very interested in. Another one on my loves list that I know I'm going to pick up during the Sephora VIB sale is the Ula Henriksen Power Duo All-in-One Perfecting Set. This is $72, a $113 retail value and it comes with the retin with the retin alt sleeping cream and the retin alt power serum i love the retin alt uh sleeping cream i think it does wonders for your skin i have not tried the serum but i'm definitely picking this up that's why i have it on my loves list i've been waiting for the vib sale to buy this i also have the ordinary the no-brainer set on my loves list just because i have I don't think I've tried anything from The Ordinary. Maybe one thing, but nothing rings a bell. And I'm definitely interested in trying The Ordinary. It's obviously a more affordable skincare line, so I'm interested to see if you get results from it or if it's worth just investing more in your skincare. Then I also have the Jouer Cosmetics Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer on my list. I really, really want to pick up this concealer, although concealers is something that's like overwhelming me in my collection right now. I was just thinking to myself the other day that I have two concealers to get through in my 19 and 2019 project pan and I'm like concerned I'm not going to get that done. And then I also have all my other concealers in my collection which I'm trying to like dwindle down but I've heard really really good things about this concealer and I'm really interested in it. Um, then I have a couple of the Lawless Soft Matte Liquid Lipsticks on my lips list. I actually have Leo on my lips today topped with Flat White from, oh gosh, Bite Beauty. Um, but I'm really interested in Brat. 
but I'm really interested in Brad, which is a mauve colored shade, as well as Cameron, which is described as a light pinky nude. And then speaking of Lawless, I also have her Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder on my loves loose setting powder on my loves list. I have the Milk Makeup Blur Powder on my loves list, and then one that I do intend to buy during the sale as well, because I really want to bring this with me to Las Vegas, is the Kate Somerville glow on the go set which comes with her spray like spf 50 and then it comes with her exfoliate cleanser which i really do enjoy i also have every single one of these summer fridays masks on my loves list i'm really interested in the r and r the jet leg and then the one that smells like pumpkin you guys will have to let me know if you've tried any of them and which ones you would recommend i kind of want to for sure pick up one during the sale and then do like a masking monday review style video for you guys I'll just share a couple more with you guys. Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 5 eyeshadow palette. This is the one with the beautiful reds and that like very unique green shade in it, but it's $125. I probably won't pick this up, but it's just on my loves list to remind me like, hey girl, I'm here if you want me. And then the last item, you guys, is the YSL Tushy Clot All-in-One Glow Foundation. I do currently have... I don't have it behind me. The Radiance YSL like Radiance Awakening foundation, which I love, and I've heard really good things about the all-in-one glow. So I really am interested in trying this. However, it is $48, so very expensive, and I probably don't need any new foundation right now. But after that, you guys, I still have a ton more on my loves list, but this is already probably a super long video. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments what is currently on your Sephora loves list and what you plan to pick up during the Sephora VIB sale. Again, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so before you go and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.